troops, special operations, special reconnaissance. And welcome back to uh, the reaction, guys. Here you go again with another Turkish army, guys. Come on, man. You know how much I love to make videos about Turkish army. So today we have a very interesting video. Turkish special forces. Okay, we are talking about Maron Berets. I think I never made a video about them. Okay, so I'm so so curious, guys. If you have other Turkish special forces armies, okay, other than uh, Maron Berets, I know that is York and Polak, I know that too, okay, so let me know in the comments, okay, cool videos about special forces, because I love so much, special day, crazy training, absolutely, yes, so, today we'll enjoy Turkish special forces, Maron Berets, so guys, let's go, and let's enjoy this video, let's go, guys! The Turkish special forces, let's get started. The Special Forces OKK, which is active starting 1992 to present, is nicknamed Maroon no, Berets because of... 1992? Same as me and same as Turkish stars? Okay. Which is active starting 1992 to present, it is nicknamed Maroon Berets because of their distinctive service headgear. They're a special operations unit of the Turkish Armed Forces made up of volunteer Turkish Army officers after graduating a roughly four-year training period. The special forces is not aligned whoa, to whoa, whoa, what? graduating a roughly armed forces made up of volunteer Turkish headgear. Are a special operations unit of the Turkish armed forces made up of volunteer Turkish army officers after graduating a roughly four-year training period. The special Turkish forces army is not aligned to any of the point. three Turkish branches of TAF, receiving its orders directly from the general staff of the Republic of Turkey. Of TAF, receiving its orders directly from the General Staff of the Republic of Turkey. Its forerunner was the Special Warfare Department. Although the Special Forces is considered a division level formation, this includes non combatant units and administrative duties personnel as well. This is kind of, Mamma Mia, so beautiful this video. Actually, very, very different from other videos that I saw about Durkish Army because actually he's explaining to us Baron Beres and we actually are watching them training. It's like absolutely beautiful. Republic of Turkey, its forerunner was the Special Warfare Department. Although the Special Forces is considered a division level formation, this includes non combatant units and administrative duties personnel as well. <laughs> almost the elite of Turkish army, no? In Maron Berets. Because he said Turkish officers after four years, okay, can make part of Maron Berets, okay? So we have the elite of Turkish army here. Who is the highest one? Like, who is the highest level of Turkish army? Let me know in the comments, please. The highest level, okay? The most special forces who are Maron Berets. Missions. The helicopters have been modernized and can operate in night, day, integrated and in sync. There is no guys. clear information about fixed wing plane. Going down from a plane at night, okay? I don't know how they do actually, okay? It's like so, so scary. You cannot see anything almost, okay? They has the special glasses, okay, that can see for sure. But at night from a plane? support for command missions. The helicopters have been modernized and can operate in night day, integrated and in sync. There is no oh, clear yeah. information about fixed wing planes in the group, but it is believed that there are planes too. In 2001, a CN-235 crashed in Malaysia and 34 soldiers lost their lives. The plane belonged to the Special Aviation Group. Nice. 
training and recruitment. Only Army officers and NCOs are eligible to join the OKK. Volunteers initially face a pass-fail written exam, as well as physical and psychological tests. Volunteers initially face a pass-fail written exam, as well as physical and psychological tests. Linguistic skills and at least one foreign language are beneficial toward admission. Each recruit must have served at least three years and must have a certain amount of time in operations, either from exercises or actual clashes. The OKK training period lasts around 3.5 years and addresses unconventional warfare and various special warfare types, special operations, special reconnaissance and infiltration, covert operations, psychological warfare, underwater operation, static parachute and halo night and day jump, counter-terrorism in residential Stop areas, close quarters combat, resisting vital maintenance and torture interrogation, ambush, raid, sabotage, escape, VIP protection, marksmanship, oh, intelligence, languages, survival, operation in deep snow, severe cold and heat, bomb disposal, demolition, fire arrangement, damage detection, and first what? and emergency aid. What? 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 For sure they, they, when it comes to army, okay, Turkey is, is like another level. We know that, okay, but like seriously, come on, man, they are like so prepared about every kind of situation like every kind of situation every kind of situation night day sea mountains everywhere like are prepared for every kind of situation insane Recruits must undergo you domestic are, yeah, training yeah, yeah, yeah. 72 weeks, international training 10 to 52 weeks depending on rank, speciality training. After graduating from special operations training, commandos are tested before officially becoming a Maroon Berry officer. They're expected to survive in all environmental conditions, so as part of the final testing stage, the teams are left in different environments with no equipment or help for two weeks. In the last Whoa. month of training called what, what, what? Conditions. So as part of the final testing stage, the teams are left in different environments with no equipment or help for two weeks. The he said the final stage, okay, to pass this test is that they left these uh, soldiers, okay, in, uh, let's say, hard situation when to survive, okay, without no help for two weeks. to survive in all environmental conditions so as part of the final testing stage the teams are left in different environments with no equipment or help for two weeks in the last month of training called hell month there, maroon berets receive training in interrogation and torture and undertake a trust shot exercise in this exercise two members of a squad flank paper target boards while a third advances from 15 meters shooting at the targets with live ammunition those standing and not permitted to move or wear body armor. Active 1992 to present. Branch General Staff. Type Special Forces. Role Special Operations. Unconventional Warfare. Direct Action. Special Reconnaissance. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. look at this one. Unconventional Warfare. Direct Action. Look at this one. This is crazy, like, this is crazy. Look at this one. Special reconnaissance, foreign internal defense, counter-terrorism, hostage rescue, high-value target, counter-insurgency, size, brigade, garrison, HQ, Ankara. Motto, the difficult we do immediately. The impossible takes a little longer. And that brings us to the end of this What he say? <laughs> I, 
I'm basically saying that we are used to hard things, okay, so we do it immediately. Impossible things take a little bit longer. Okay, same it because I think for them it's say like for us it's nothing impossible. Okay, it's for everyone it's impossible. For us just will take a little bit longer than the uh, hard one. Garrison okay. HQ Ankara. Motto: The difficult we do immediately. The impossible takes a little longer. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let us know what you think of the Turkish special forces in the comments section below. Absolutely, military weapons. You made just an amazing, amazing video. Absolutely. As you know, guys, I will leave you the original link in the description so you can go watch this one and other videos that this YouTube channel create. Okay, because I think very, very nice. Okay, I had a lot of information in this one okay absolutely yes and i think for what i know till now i think that maron berets uh, are the highest level of turkish army or no let me know in the comments guys if are they or no okay exist some other so we can make a video but it was such an interesting and beautiful video about turkish army and how, how they say okay the difficult uh, situations okay are nothing to us and the impossible will take a little bit longer. This is to show <laughs> to show the mentality of these soldiers. Absolutely yes. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And guys, we will see the next reaction. Ciao, a tutti ragazzi. E noi ci vediamo alla prossima. Ciao.